So here is a slightly harder problem um, where we have if x equals a sine t and y is equal to b tan t, show that y squared is equal to b squared x squared over a squared minus x squared. So it's bringing back some of the trick that we learned in the previous section. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the right-hand side of this. We are going to start with b squared x squared over a squared minus x squared. And we're going to show that this is the same as y squared, Okay, the left-hand side. Now, what we have is that x is equal to a sine t. So we've got b squared times a squared times sine squared t. So that's all of x squared. Then we've got a squared minus x squared. So a squared sine squared t. OK. Then what we would do is we would um, look at the denominator. I'm going to factorize the denominator. so that I can factor out the a squared, and I'm going to have 1 minus sine squared t. Here you can then cancel the a squareds. So you've got an a squared on the top, a squared on the bottom, so they can go. The 1 minus sine squared I'm going to replace with cos squared, so I'm going to write this as b squared sine squared t over cos squared now, sine squared over cos squared, we know, is just going to be tan squared. So this is b squared tan squared t, which is equal to b tan t all squared, which we know is y squared. OK? And that shows that the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side, such that this, with this pair of parametric equations, this is the correct Cartesian equation for them.